This is a low-tech map of Satilla Shores because I don't trust PowerPoint. You'll see a PowerPoint, but I don't trust it that much. So this is a regular map of it, Google Earth map. Highway 17 up here, Satilla Drive here, 230 Satilla Drive. This is just to act acclimate you this is Jones Road and I know it's hard it's hard for all jurors maybe to see this but you'll see this many times throughout the case and we'll talk more about the rest of it but he lived on Satilla Satilla Drive in Satilla Shores Satilla Shores is a quiet scenic middle-class neighborhood the kind of neighborhood where parents let the kids ride around on their bikes the kind of neighborhood where when you're my age you go for a walk after dinner. The kind of neighborhood that we all kind of aspire to live in. It's safe, it's beautiful, you work in the yard, you play on the river. This is the family and community that Travis McMichael felt a duty and responsibility to during the course of events in 2019 and 2020. This is the family and community that made him willing to put himself at risk to help the police detain Ahmaud Arbery. The video that you watched probably five times in the state's opening statement doesn't even begin to tell the story in this case. It's like looking through that knot hole in the fence and thinking you see the whole baseball field when you really only see the outfield. The case really begins months before in 2019 because Satilla Shores was a neighborhood on edge. Crime had gone up. It wasn't violent crime. It was property crimes, the kind of crimes that are unsettling, the kind of crimes that are scary because you don't know who's coming onto your property, who's in your car ransacking it, who's breaking into your buildings, who's stealing your lawnmowers or your guns. And so the neighborhood was on edge. So much so that behaviors began to change by the neighbors. Kids were not allowed, some kids, to play outside after dark. Residents of Satilla Shores installed home surveillance cameras to catch the thieves that were taking their property. And neighbors in Satilla Shores felt a duty and responsibility to each other to post on the neighborhood pages, Facebook and Nextdoor, about the crime that was happening. And you'll hear about that. The types of posts that you saw on these pages includes, this is ridiculous. My daughter always freaks out. It's getting old. I'm nervous, lock your cars. These are actual posts from those, that neighborhood Facebook page. As a result of this uptick in crime, of people being on edge, people were alert to suspicious behavior. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.